Okay, this tutorial is about how to install wi the Windows 7 bootloader. Let's say you accidentally installed Windows XP over Windows 7 and you're not able to boot anymore from uh, into Windows 7. So for that I'm going to use VirtualBox and uh, make a virtual Windows XP here. Okay, next let's add 500 megabytes of memory. Use an existing virtual hard drive. I installed Windows already. Okay, so I'm going to start this virtual computer and notice that after the BIOS automatically Windows is loaded, so the uh, Windows bootloader is not present and we want to install only the Windows 7 bootloader and after that Windows is uh, loading and I'm going to attach this Windows 7 ISO and that will be showing up here on the D drive so for that let's go to device CD and choose a virtual disk and it's on the desktop and Windows 7 and open so this is like inserting the Windows 7 DVD in into the physical real computer okay and I'm not going to install Windows from here but I'm going to restart the computer and boot the entire computer from this CD image or DVD image. Okay, press any key to boot from DVD. I pressed a key on the keyboard. Windows is loading from this ISO file. That would be the equi equivalent of booting from the DVD. And the Windows setup is starting. And after this, uh, we can install Windows 7 into a virtual hard drive and to do that press shift plus F10 and let's first create the virtual hard drive let's type disk part okay and the commands if we don't install Windows 7 into a virtual hard drive then the already, ex already existing program files directory and windows directory will be completely erased by the new windows so in order to keep the old windows xp i'm mean not going to install on the same partition but into a virtual partition okay let's create a virtual disk that's vdisk and the file should be stored on the C drive and let's call it let's call it 7.vhd okay and the type of the VHD file should be expandable and the maximum size to which it will extend let's say 20,000 megabytes that is almost 20 gigabytes so let's recap create vdisk file equals c column dash 7 dot vhd type equal expandable and maximum equal 20,000 press enter are not valid yes press the up arrow key maximum equal 20,000 so the upper key recalls the previous command okay press enter and the VHD file is created now press the up arrow again to recall the last command home to go to the beginning and this time we are not going to create but we are going to select the VDisk which is stored at this path and we don't need the type and the maximum value anymore so we are selecting the VDisk ok and now we are attaching attach VDisk 
and it's done okay so now we can continue the setup press next and install and windows now will automatically recognize that uh, virtual hard drive i'm going to choose the starter edition although this starter edition can't be installed into a virtual hard drive but windows will still do it but at the at 99% it will refuse to boot from it okay so we're going to choose that one because we don't need Windows 7 we need only the bootloader menu to be installed and on this screen I will choose the unallocated space which is almost 20 gigabyte in size Windows cannot be installed onto this disk just leave that alone and click next and wait until these things will be completed this expanding uh, takes a little bit of time and after this windows will start uh, will restart and at that point we can abort the whole installation because the bootloader menu will be already in place okay so let's wait until this is done okay so the expanding was done installing features installing updates and completing this will be this will be much shorter and after that the windows installation restarts the computer let's click restart now and here no I don't want to boot so I don't press any key and up down okay so this stopped Windows 7 from loading just by clicking the up or out, up or down key on the keyboard and if I choose Windows 7 and press enter the setup will continue but the bootloader menu this one from which I can choose which windows to start this is already installed and I only want this one so I can go to the earlier version which is Windows XP and press enter and from here I can now safely delete the virtual hard drive into which Windows 7 was installed and I will be left with the Windows 7 bootloader so this is not needed it's from the Windows 7 setup notice that uh, dollar sign at the beginning so we can delete it shift hold down the shift key and then you will be deleting it directly without putting it into the recycle bin and this is a 5 gigabyte file Windows 7 it's halfway installed into this one we don't need it so we can delete it hold down the shift key and delete okay and if you want to make things more beautiful let's go to start and run and msconfig and from here from the boot section oh uh, no I wanted to delete Windows 7 but that's not going to work from the Windows XP uh, utility because Windows XP shows this only from the boot that INI file file and Windows 7 stores its bootloader in another place hidden I protect it is not okay so Windows 7 stores it bootloader into this file I mean folder more exactly BCD without extension in in this file okay so let's see if that's the Windows 7 bootloader so I need that one so I'm not going to delete it okay that's it let's recap restart the computer and 
Windows 7 will not load. Let's get out the CD. Remove. Okay. So automatically Windows started to load this one, but this one is not working. Only Windows XP. Okay, so the Windows 7 bootloader was successfully installed. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.